Let's take a look at the fourth generation of QD OLED. I got the opportunity to see this firsthand at CES 2025. It was definitely a cool experience. I got to go there alongside some other creators as well, like BD Installer, who I have met before, but also the display guy who I've never met, and Vincent from HDTV Test, who I've also never met. It's always cool to meet people that do the same thing that you do for a living. Now, my biggest takeaway from the QD OLED fourth generation improvements was that it has gotten brighter, which was not really a surprise to me. I did predict that it will get to 4,000 nits, and that's exactly the figure that they showed off. And Samsung Display says they are able to achieve this by having a brand new hyper-efficient EL 3.0 material. And this is going to allow TVs to not only get brighter but also be more efficient with their energy consumption as well now the 4000 nit claim is on a three percent window but there's also a claim of 440 nits on full white which is definitely an upgrade in the luminance department when you're talking about tvs of a previous generation i can't wait to see this in a tv They've also been able to achieve the highest PPI in a monitor, something that they haven't been able to do before. And now they have also gotten to 500 Hertz on monitors as well, which is a really big achievement for them, according to Samsung Display. Now, the biggest reason why I was there was definitely to see it firsthand on how it would look in a TV. Now, they did have the 2024 third generation versus the 2025 fourth generation. And we saw that the 3000 nit QD OLED on the left wasn't going to look as bright and as vibrant as the one on the right, which was the 2025 version. Now it's important to note that this is not an actual TV. This is just the display technology itself. And this isn't representative of a TV that you can go out and buy pretty soon, like the S95F from Samsung Electronics. It's important to separate Samsung Electronics from Samsung Display. Because the Samsung Display panel can actually be used in different manufacturers' panels, we've seen Sony use it as of late, but we don't know if Sony's going to be using it in 2025, as there's not really any real information out there on Sony as of right now. But we do know that Samsung Electronics is going to be using this in the S95F, for their flagship OLED TV. We also do know that there is not going to be an 83 inch version of the QD OLED unfortunately as the confirmed sizes to me were the 55 inch, 65 inch, and 77 inch sizes. I've also asked about the 42 and 48 inch sizes and that's not currently in production but it's something that they might take a look at. I let them know that there's a huge demand for gamers in that category with the 42 and the 48 inch in mind and a lot of home theater enthusiasts really want the 83 inch size as well so the biggest question you guys have is how is this going to look in tvs and how was it next to the 2024 qd oled of last year the fourth generation next to the third generation what does that look like in person and yeah it does look more punchy more vibrant there's definitely an indicator that it's going to be brighter when you just look at it firsthand now that's hard to say because I don't know exactly what's going on with the demo display units. I don't know how they're tuning these. I don't know how they're setting them up. But the 2025 version definitely did have a lot more going for it in terms of the vibrancy and the brightness. If we're just going off of what I was witnessing with my eyes at that very moment, then yes, it did look like a clear upgrade from 2024 to 2025. So that part does get me excited, but I definitely will use kind of caution when I'm looking at this at a Samsung display event. But I think what encourages me the most is not really what I saw at this event. It was more of what I saw last year from the S95D. I think that jumping from the S90D to the S95D last year really showed a difference in generation of QD OLED technology because the second generation to the third generation, to me, I felt that difference. I saw that difference and I don't know how much of a difference is that going to be with second generation to third generation. How much is that tied into that versus how much is Samsung Electronics just kind of holding back on the S90D versus the S95D? I don't know that answer to be honest with you so i can just really speak from the experience of just going from the s90d to the s95d felt like a clear upgrade in many different categories so i think we're going to see the same sort of thing with the s90f to the s95f this year i'm expecting the s90f to have the third generation panel as it did seem to get brighter from last year's s90d version so i think to take that step they probably went with the third generation qd oled panel and naturally the s95f will be using the fourth generation panel 
And we should see an improvement there from third generation to fourth generation, just based off of the generational technology advancements. Not to mention the tuning that Samsung Electronics might do to separate the two models. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the QD OLED Generation 4 technology. And if you want to see QD OLED Generation 3 versus Generation 2, definitely check out the S95D versus S90D video that I did last year. You can see that one right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I hope to see you in the next one.